guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account on the test server. And that is right guys, we have patch notes again. Patch notes 1.72. So let's go ahead and get into these patch notes and see what is going on. Added the Mauler Hero Granite, very nice. I, I was correct, I, I called it was gonna be a Mauler. I thought it was gonna be a, a tank is what I'm thinking with Granite. Um, kind of look like a mountain, so very cool. We do have a new Mauler hero since we had Raku um, and a couple other heroes. We knew a Mauler was coming, so very cool to get a new Mauler. The new hero, um, Granite Desert Stone, will be available on test. Added the Bounty, which is coming up pretty soon. So a new activity called the Abyssal Aid allows players to form teams and share their heroes to challenge the Dismal Maze. Now, we knew this was coming as well. There was kind of a sneak peek. Um, I believe it was from a Korean Discord or, or a Korean live stream they did that there were going to be teams for the Dismal Maze. This is getting back to more of the AFK aspect of the game. So players can, can also use their teammate victory records to clear the Dismal Maze for rewards with the quick battle function. So this is going to be a game changer with the Dismal Maze because now you don't have to go through and you don't have to run it over and over and over. Myself in particular, running eight different accounts. This is a blessing that I have never seen um, before because that'll save me an absolute crazy amount of time running through the Dismal Maze with so many different accounts. Added the adventure Gold Rush to the Voyage of Wonder feature, which will be available from a uh, certain time. So there is a new Voyage of Wonder. Added new stages 46 to 60 to Forest Mania and raise the adventure rewards up to 180 stars. So players can unlock this by completing stage 12.1. Um, we knew this was going to be a, a little mini game. A lot of players don't, don't focus on it, but it is very cool and you do get quite a bit of resources out of there. So I would definitely go ahead and build out and, and utilize that Forest Mania um, to get the rewards out of there. The internal graving feature will become available to light bears after heroes reach one star. After increasing a hero's engraving level, they can no longer be used, make use of the hero swap scroll. So if you haven't used your swap scroll, that will be null and void if you start doing the engraving system. But finally, coming to light bears. Last couple videos, um, we went over light bears that I think are gonna do very well, depending on what their uh, bottom skills are. So it's gonna be very cool to add a fourth level on there. Reduce the difficulty of certain floors between 1,000 and 1,100 of the King's Tower. Also added more floors to 1150. Crazy high level, very, very end game. If your floor is 1000 plus in the King's Tower, I think I'm 600 something right now. Players can now climb up to 660 floors within the four faction towers. Simultaneously, the difficulty of some floors between 600 and 630 have been reduced. Reduced difficulty of certain floors between 390 and 420 of the Infernal Fortress and Celestial Sanctum, so a big adjustment in power there. Added a function that lets players search through progress records. Players can now tap on the completed stages in the current chapter to see their own and their friends formation. That's very cool. It, it's a function that a lot of people have been asking for to be able to see different formations other than the boss stages, because we know right now you can look through the winning formations for the boss stages. This is going to let you go ahead and look through the winning formations for, I believe, all the stages, similar to how AFK Helper does. Um, so you can actually go through and, and break down the individual stages you're having challenges with. Add a new hero info page to the battle stats page. Players can now specific view specific heroes via the battle stats page. Optimize, this will be interesting, optimize the RO6 and our RO... Uh, 64 and final mechanics for the Legend Champion after matches will be comprised of five rounds. Player that wins three out of the five shall be victorious. We're going to have to see exactly how that changes. Any changes that they make to um, PvP re really changes a lot of that uh, dynamic. We see a ton of information on Reddit, a ton of information on Discord. Anytime they change anything, so we're going to have to make sure this this mechanism is not broken within PvP. So that is yet to be seen. Fixed an issue that caused some Misty Valley treasure trove rewards to be displayed erogenously. Okay, good change there. Hero adjustments. Let's see if there are any big changes. Lucretia fixed an issue that was causing the ability Death Wish to prioritize and kill summon enemies in some case. So that's a big boost for Lucretia. Now that Death Wish ability is not going to 
kill some of the enemies, such as Grez minions, Baden. Um, definitely needed a fix there. Zekas fixed an issue that was preventing Zekas from being targeted by his allies' abilities when he was using the ability Burning Sight. So again, a little buff for him right there. He fixed an issue that caused the exclusive furniture effect of the ability an arrow plague to incorrectly display the lethargy animation when used against the opposing enemy. Not sure if that's just a, a display issue. I'm not sure if it had anything to do with the mechanics. The update will only affect the test server. So really not too much in here for the notes, guys. We've got two little fixes, um, a couple little functions, a little bit of a reduction for the difficulty within the campaign stages. Really the big thing, the internal graving feature. So that would be very cool to see um, what the light bearers and who is going to be utilized within the light bearers. The abysmal aid, absolutely, definitely worth it as long time needed. And then of course the new Mauler hero, Granite, will be coming pretty soon, guys. So that will do it for the patch notes 1.74. As soon as they drive, drop live on the test server, we'll go ahead and start covering all of the points. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.